4.1, you have a new addition to the UV tool set, both in the Retopo room and in the UV room, and that is globally uniform unfolding. And this is actually the result of a happy accident. Andrew was trying to fix a bug in the UV tool set and came across this means to create a completely new algorithm for unfolding and I think you'll find it to be really impressive so let's go ahead and take a deeper look at this. I'm going to go to the UV section here under mark seams and let me go ahead and select the islands here. I'll hold the shift key and select the other one. And so in 3D Coat, instead of unwrapping the entire uh, UV map here, you can just select islands and essentially just unfold the individual islands. So it's almost like unwrapping or unfolding just what you have selected. So you always had ABF and then you had LSCM, the two main unfolding algorithms. And these are pretty common now in the industry. I typically prefer ABF most of the time, especially if you're working with organic type models. If you're working with hard surface objects or you're working with a lot of planar surfaces and, and whatnot, LSEM may be a very good option in those situations. But uh, again, for objects to have you know extreme angles and so on, ABF uh, was a very good option. But even then, it still struggles from time to time. On an object like this where the head is elongated from front to back, that puts a lot of stress on the UV unfolding algorithms. Typically, you would not want to have a seam down the middle of the face, but again, because of the proportions uh, of the model or, or of this object, uh, you're almost forced to have to do so. Now, a 3D coat does a very good job in the paint room of trying to hide seams and whatnot, but still, you, you generally want to avoid this when possible. So, uh, let me go ahead with these split up like this. Let me go ahead and just choose both of these. And let's try LSCM and see how that works. Whoa. That's really, really bad. So, let's zoom in here. And we can see our checker pattern here. It's very different much larger pattern here, much smaller here. Let me try and choose complex checker. You can see that a little bit better. So again, to LCM, and even if I click on relax, it's not gonna really do much. It's only gonna relax everything inside. So LCM is not a good option for this. Let's try ABF. I'll do the same thing for that one. Okay, much better. So, even though it's relatively good, let's go ahead and try another pattern here. You can still see uh, some difference. Still much smaller pattern here than it is at the top of the head. So this is where this new global uniform unfolding comes into play. So let me go ahead and click on that same thing here and you can see it's much more uniform than this part here so let's look at this by comparison so I'm going to hit control D just as you would in Photoshop to remove the selection okay it's very uniform all the way from the nose uh, to the back of the head let's try and go to a complex checker yeah it's a much nicer job from the front to the back. Okay, you can see quite a bit of difference here, much smaller, quite a bit larger. All right. So, let's try a different example where you can really, really see the difference. So, another way I might try to approach the seams is there is a kind of an area that's a little bit flat that I might could use to actually remove the seam and I'll just have to show it. It's, it's hard to explain here. So what I'll do is my bracket keys, I'm going to reduce my brush size. And so I'm going to hold the control key to deselect 
and control key here, control shift. Uh, let's try this again. Click, shift click, and click, shift click. Okay. So with that done, I'm going to select these two here and try ABF. Now if this is a low polygon model, this result will be quite a bit better. Right now this is um, kind of a medium low uh, model, but still, uh, once you get over a few thousand, the unwrapping can be a little bit um, wonky at times. So let's try LSCM, and it's even worse. Okay, so again, ABF, and now Global Uniform. Okay, much nicer. Now that's not to say that this is absolutely perfect in all situations. You may still have to do a bit of tweaking because again, when you have elongated proportions like this, typically, Again, the best way to approach it is probably to split it down the middle, uh, just as we saw previously. But in this case, uh, this will help me uh, prevent from having any seams that are easily visible. So let me hit Control D. So it looks fairly good. And then I can relax here. Control D to deselect all those polygons. Okay, so no major areas of uh, stretching or distortion. So as you can see, this is a really, really nice new unfolding algorithm. You're definitely going to want to try and utilize this from, from time to time. Okay, so I hope that helps, and thank you for watching. Okay.